Hello, I'm Sue Shapcott. Today we're going to talk about sloping lies, how to play them, how to practice them, and some of the key factors that you need to consider with sloping lies. Uh, there's a couple of things that uh, I want you to look out for as I'm talking about sloping lies, and one is the ball position. And with sloping lies, I'm going to refer to your sternum um, when I'm talking about sloping lies and where you position the ball rather than um, relative to the feet. Um, so that's one of them. And the other is the kind of ball flight that you're going to expect with the different sloping lies. Uh, they're difficult shots. Um, I hope this helps. Um, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we update it weekly with new tips. Um, so let's get to it. So the easiest sloping lies when the ball is above your feet like this. Now the key to remember with sloping lies is that you cannot flatten the ground so you have to adjust to it. So when the ball is above your feet you might want to choke down just a little bit. Your weight is probably going to get pushed onto your heels. Your spine is naturally going to be up and that means that your swing is going to be more around and as it's more around you're going to over rotate your arm so the ball is going to tend to hook that's going to keep it a little bit lower too when you set up the ball is going to be opposite your sternum uh, so in, in this case it is still going to be opposite the center of your feet okay the my next favorite is when you're hitting on an up slope so again you need to adjust to the slope so this means that your feet knees hips shoulders are all going to be parallel to the slope you're not fighting against it this way um, in this instance then the, the ball is going to be opposite your sternum which means relative to your feet it's probably going to be a little bit further back than normal now with this slope it's going to be really hard to move off of your back foot through impact so that means you're going to add some loft to the club um, and that's going to be exaggerated by the fact that you'll be swinging up the hill. So the ball is going to tend to go higher. It's also going to tend to hook. So if you usually hit a five iron, for example, um, from a certain distance, if you're on an uphill slope, you might want to consider hitting a four iron. Okay, so now we get into the tricky ones. When the ball is below your feet, um, you're going to bend a little bit more from your hips, maybe a little bit more from your, your knees. The ball is opposite the sternum, in this case that's opposite the feet. And that position, that setup position, means that it's going to be really hard for you to turn. So that extra tilt with the spine makes it harder for you to turn. So you're going to generate um, less club head speed, so the ball isn't going to fly as far as normal. And because you can't turn as far, then that also means that you're probably going to be hitting the ball with a slightly steep plane. Steep plane, the arms are going to rotate open, the ball's going to tend to just uh, lose itself to the right. So aim a little bit left with this one. Okay, so lastly, hit it on a downhill slope. These are really difficult ones. So again, your feet, knees, hips, and shoulders are all going to be parallel to the slope. So the ball position is going to be opposite the sternum, which means that relative to the feet, it's slightly forward in your stance. And this setup position is going to mean that you deal off the club slightly at impact. Okay? And that's going to be exaggerated by the fact that this slope is also going to make it harder to turn. So the ball is going to come off very low. So if you're in a situation where you need to carry the ball up and over something, then you might want to think a little bit more about your strategy and aim to the side of it because it's going to be really hard to get a good flight on the ball. Okay, so that's a brief overview of how to deal with sloping lies. Uh, they are difficult shots, so don't be frustrated if you uh, don't get them right away. Like everything, they, they need practice and getting used to. So um, just keep those key factors in mind and uh, stick to the plan and 
you will learn how to uh, hit from sloping lies. Thanks for watching. Thank you.